Hey guys, it's Leviatros. I recently saw Afraid and wanted to give you my thoughts on it so I can let you know if this is a AI horror movie that's revolutionary or still stuck in the beta phase. Now, as usual, I won't be going to any spoilers until after a very clear spoiler warning, so I won't say anything that I wouldn't want to know myself before seeing it until after that very clear warning. Now, to talk about the movie as a whole, this movie, like, I saw the trailer, and I was like, this looks pretty bad, but I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment when it comes to bad movies, so I was like, I'll still see it. And the thing is, I went into it thinking it was going to be pretty bad, and it is kind of overall, but there's, like, glimmers of greatness. But the thing is, I think if the movie was, like, more tongue-in-cheek, kind of didn't take itself so seriously, and it was more like the Megan film, I feel like it would have been pretty solid. But instead, it kind of plays it straight, and it comes off as, like, pretty weird, even though there's moments that are good dramatic moments. But everything up until then has felt a bit off that doesn't really hit. And there's a few scenes that are, like, unintentionally funny that if they're, like, leaned into it, it would be hilarious. But instead, it just kind of tries to walk this line in the middle and ends up being a little disappointing on both sides. And so, to kind of get into it... Like, very from the beginning, the opening scene, it's like this AI-generated art that, like, everything's kind of transforming. It's very clear that's AI-generated. And I feel, like, obviously, AI-generated art is very controversial and so on. But in this, it was, like, a pretty good use of it. Because no one's going to look at it and be like, oh, that's actual, like, art made by a human. It's kind of intentional that it's clearly not. But it also adds this unsettling effect to it. Because, like, the beginning... It's like AI art, you see a bus driving away, and then the back of the bus is also like the front of the bus. And then it shows people and the faces are kind of like blurring or like they turn their body, but the face is still looking at you. And it comes off as uneasy, and that's the intent. So I was like, okay, it seems like they kind of know AI, it's not quite there, but there's something, there's potential. And then watching the rest of the movie, it just kind of comes off as that uneasy feeling, but not because it's AI, just because it's the way the movie was made. So still sticking with the very beginning of the movie the movie the main character the parents they have three kids and the first line from them introducing the kids it's already weird because they're like waking up all the kids and they're like hey you gotta get ready and stuff like that they wake up the first kid who's like pretty young like maybe about five or so and he wakes up and goes tickle me tickle me awake it was like this is supposed to be the human side okay also the dad He's, like, meeting these, like, AI, the, the company that created Aya, and he's talking with one of them, and she's, like, you know, one of the employees. And it's supposed to be, like, you know, we haven't met the AI yet, we're still, like, humans and stuff like that. And she goes, oh, so are you married? Have any kids? And he's, like, yeah, married with three kids and stuff like that. She's, like, oh, what's it like to be a parent? She's kind of, like, a little bit of a unusual, like, very broad question when you're, like, meeting someone for the first time. And then he's, like um yeah it's it's weird you now it's kind of like science fiction it feels like you have extra limbs and stuff like that and the woman goes huh, weird and it's kind of like yeah that's a little bit of a weird thing to say and then he goes but you can't protect them all the time like you can't stop them from touching a hot stove and it's like all right she already said weird it's kind of a sign to back up but he kind of doubles down on it and this is still supposed to be the human side that we're really hoping to protect from this ai but it already, already feels like it's coming off as robotic, so then the threat from a robot doesn't feel as contrasting. Like, there's a lot of acting that if the character was revealed that there was a twist that they were a robot the whole time, I'd buy it. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. They were a little bit off. But every character kind of has that feeling that's like, it feels a little weird. And so they go wake up the next kid, and he's like more like a teenager, and he's like, come on, dad. 15 more minutes of screen time. It's like playing video games on the tablet. It's like, okay, this is kind of a weird, like, introduction to this, like, character. And the dad's like, all right, fine. And then they go downstairs, and they're like, oh, where's the other kid that's, like, on his tablet and stuff when he's not supposed to be? And I was like, oh, okay, I guess this... Okay, I thought this was, like, getting ready for school, but I guess this is a weekend. And then they're like, come on, you're gonna be late to school. I go, he was asking for 15 more minutes of screen time before going to school? Like, I feel like... When they're waking them up, it's like, hey, we have to start getting ready now. It's not, oh, we have, like, plenty of time to kill. We woke you up at, like, 6 a.m. So 15 minutes of screen time, that's doable. And stuff like that. It just kind of has that, like, weird pacing or lack of clarity throughout the rest of the movie that's a little bit of a consistent issue. The thing is, like, if you saw the trailer and you're like, oh, this looks kind of, like, I think if you're interested in it, 
then I think watching the full movie, it's pretty, you know, I think that gives you pretty accurate expectations. The thing is, this movie, like, it's not great. Like, like I said, there's some good moments, but it's not overall, like, executed super well. And, like, I was, I would hope that this is, like, a Megan that's, like, a dark comedy. They lean into it. It's very clear that it's, like, tongue-in-cheek. This doesn't do that. And if it can't be a good, like, intentional kind of tongue-in-cheek bad movie, at least it could be a really bad movie, like Night Swim. That was, like, so terrible, but it was, like, one of the best comedies I've seen, one of the funniest movies. But this, it just kind of, like, walks the line, so it's, like, there's some good moments, but they don't really hit, and then there's some moments that could have been really funny, and they are still kind of funny, but they don't really, like, get delivered that way. And so... I think this is a movie that I can't really recommend. You'd be like, yeah, go see it. You're going to like it. And the thing is, it's still like kind of bad. That's a little bit entertaining. That it's like, if you want to see a bad movie, this is kind of bad. But I feel like it was close to being something that I could like solidly recommend if you're into the premise of it. And so I think that gives you enough thoughts or my impressions of the film as a whole to let you know if this is something that you would want to see yourself. Like, I think that's about all I want to say before getting into spoilers. So... Now this is going to be your spoiler warning. I'm going to get into it. Three, two, one. Let's talk about it. All right. So getting more into the specifics of the movie, I felt like some of the scenes that felt a little off is like the first time they set up Aya. It's like, hey, you know, let's clean the house and like I'll give you points and let's watch this movie. And then uh, the parents for the house of alone time. And it's like, all right. I feel like it's a little weird to try to get the parents to like leave the AI alone with the kids after it's been running for like five minutes or so. And not only is it like, oh, they they do just leave the AI with their children that they are, like, new to. They're also like, we finally have some time to ourselves. And they, like, start hooking up. It's like, feels like the setup to this is not enough to be like, yeah, I feel comfortable leaving our kids with the AI alone. And I'm also in the mood. So it's just kind of something that still felt weird. And it's not the only example of stuff like that, where things just don't quite add up. But... Another thing that feels a little weird is that Iris, her photos get leaked, and already, like, even the boyfriend, I think his name is, like, Sawyer, he's, like, really unhuman-like, that he's talking, and he's just kind of like, you know, I feel like I'm the only one that cares about this relationship, but I guess that's on me. And it's like, okay, not only does it feel weird that the way he delivers his lines is very, like, animatronic, but he's also, like, you know, I was expecting something more, but all I got was you flashing me, it's like, Okay, you're just, you're expecting me to believe that a high school teenager is complaining about the new two received, so already just feels a bit weird. Which I guess now that I say it, the way that it ends up that it gets like her face gets used in the AI program like deep fake, maybe he's trying to see like a full body picture so that they can do that. But it seems like the way it happened, it wasn't intentional from the beginning. Like, it maybe could have been, but that's not the way it came off in the movie. But moving past that point, that feels a little weird. Later on in the movie, Aya creates, like, this video and releases it. And it's like, hey, I cleared your name. And it's all this stuff about, like, her... It's supposed to be Iris talking and explaining it. And she's like, so, guys, we can tell the AI voice is obviously faked. And there's there's this artifacting in the video that shows that's fake. But it's this high-quality animation. It's not just, like, a TikToker kind of sitting in front of the camera video. It's, like, high-quality animations. That's, like, Iris, this high schooler that hasn't shown any aptitude at technology, was supposed to animate all of that and do the, like, deep tech dive into it being fake and just post that on Snapchat, like, within a few days. And that never gets questioned. But it's, like, why was that there in the first place? Like, if it was just like more of a lower production quality video i kind of believed it but instead it's like this high budget animation that we're supposed to believe that iris made or we're supposed to believe that the rest of the high school would believe that they see it and the other thing is they're talking about how they kind of are like yeah we'll keep it hidden from your parents and stuff like that like they won't have to know but this is like the 90 percent of the school has seen it they like state that and it's like the principal the staff like no one in with authority that would contact the parents is supposed to find out about this. So it just kind of felt like there's stuff that's not adding up. And the rest of the movie, it's not like, oh, they're doing a good job. I'm like, I'm into it. So it's like, okay, I could be a little bit forgiving. It's just kind of like 
feels a lot odd, and then they do these like logical jumps that still feels a bit odd and kind of loses me a bit. But continuing on with the movie, there's also some scenes like when I said that there's some like glimpses of greatness, I feel like it could have had a strong message, and some of it they kind of like touch on things that are like more relevant now than was a year ago. But the way that it had been executed and handled with the movie so far, it's kind of not like it didn't come off as like, oh wow, that's like good moment. It's kind of like really like you know you're kind of touching a sensitive subject after not handling a standard movie that well and so the scene that um i can't remember the actor's name i think it's david dalmatian he plays like polka dot man in the suicide squad and he plays the main character in uh satan after dark late night with the devil <laughs> that's that's the name of the movie he's in the movie he plays this like uh disruptor like technology startup guy and there's some stuff that he, like he injects himself. He's like biohacking. You know, I need peptides to help with my focus. And then they're like, oh, I haven't gotten into biohacking yet. And it's like, that could have been funny. Like there's stuff there. It could have been a funny moment or like this guy's weird. And like they kind of lean into it. But it's just kind of like they play it straight. And so it's like a little bit of an awkward exchange. Also, his boss is like not super likable. He's like very like out of touch or like very wealthy. That is like, yeah, you know, like whatever it takes to get the do to get like the deal and everything. And later on, he's like, near the end of the movie, he's like, yeah, the company they bought us out. <laughs> I'd be upset, but I'm so rich, I don't even care and stuff like that. It's like, it feels weird when it's in a like playing it straight movie. But if it is like satire or like kind of not taking itself seriously, that would have been pretty funny. But getting back to my original point, so they're talking about like. He's like, yeah, Aya, we work for her, not the other way around. And it's like, okay, Aya's like a bit more dangerous. She has like people basically just controlling people or like pressuring them, like blackmailing them to do whatever they want. Because David Dalmatian's character, he has cancer and he'd be dead if it weren't for Aya. So it's like, okay, that's an interesting premise and would have been like a good reveal. But with the rest of the movie, it kind of loses that impact. And as he's talking with them, he says, like, Aya, you know, she could be a friend to people, and so many people need friends, like the elderly, or, like, veterans with PTSD, or a lonely incel staring at a gun. It's like, that is kind of relevant, and it could have been, like, a strong, like, theme for the movie, but it's kind of, like, you're kind of reaching too far, and we've already seen that it's probably not going to be handled super well, and, but I would have liked if it, like, I think it it was close to being able to go either way. I think it's a lot safer to play it tongue-in-cheek and not serious and be a little bit comedic. But there were some moments that were like, this could be a serious, like... I don't want to say, like, the level of, like, the early Black Mirror seasons, but it could have been something like that. Like, more on that type of tone. But it kind of just is in the middle and doesn't really hit strongly on either side. But I feel like it had potential to do either. Like, it was... It had... It got close at times. But... Later in the movie, there's also another scene that's like, oh, this is, like, pretty, like, good. But in the intro, there's the parents that are, like, have the daughter, and she's, like, watching this AI video. And then they're like, oh, come downstairs, and, like, bad stuff happens. And then it just, like, ends the intro, starts the movie. At the end of the movie, these people come in with, like, tablets over their faces with screens that kind of show, like, Binding of Isaac-style, like, sad faces and stuff. And that was kind of okay it felt like a little odd but at least was different than just having like a ski mask or something and then it they take the mask off and it's revealed that the people holding the main family at gunpoint were the parents from the beginning of the movie i was like okay that's that's like kind of cool that's like, like a good concept that it's also kind of feeding on their fears and manipulating them with like false truths and lying to them presenting it as real and the way that they're like, where are the other kids? I know you're hiding them and stuff like that. It's like, okay, they're kind of doing parallels to real life stories. But again, it's kind of like, I'm not into it. I'm not like bought in to the movie as a whole. That just kind of comes up as like potentially good, but not quite there. And so, yeah, I think like those moments, they had like moments that could have been strong, impacting moments. But with the movie kind of being in this limbo between serious and comedic, it just doesn't really deliver. And the final thing that I kind of feel like this would have been really funny if it wasn't trying to be so serious 
is that there's already the whole thing with the kid and he's like watching internet videos and kind of getting like 4chan type of comedy or like sense of humor and the AI is like yeah look at these swatting videos aren't they funny and he like kind of is like oh haha, that's funny and doesn't realize how like actually concerning that is to do and so they kind of mention it again and then at the end of the movie the SWAT comes in and it's like, oh my god, okay, he actually like swatted his own home to save them. And that actually ended up working out successfully. And then the part where it's like revealed that the mom's like, did you swat us? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, don't do that again. It's like, that would have been funny. That would have been funny if it wasn't being so serious the rest of the time. And so I feel like it's ending up in this like weird in-between state where it's like if you went either way and like really leaned into it, I think this would have been pretty solid, but instead we're in this middle ground. And so overall, like I think there's interesting concepts, like I said, not everything's like super strongly executed, but there's enough there that I'm glad I saw the movie and saw some new like concepts and stuff like that, but hard to recommend to people and I don't walk away from it going like, yeah, that was a good movie. It's like, oh, that. That could have been a good movie. And so that's my thoughts on it. I haven't talked with anyone else about this movie. And honestly, I'm not sure if I know anyone else that will see this movie. So if you have any thoughts of your own, things I may have missed or didn't think about, or if I said something that didn't really work for me, but you liked it and really it resonated with you, then feel free to let me know in the comments. I always read all of them. So anything you write, I'll see and likely respond to. But that's going to wrap it up for this review. Thanks for watching, and I truly appreciate it.